Hi guys, I hope you're all having a great week and have managed to get some good practice in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play a melodic minor scale and more specifically I'm going to be talking about spider fingers. For those of you who are my students you'll know exactly what I mean because I talk about spider fingers all the time. But for those of you who don't know, think about how a spider moves its legs. Each leg is controlled and accurate in the way it moves and the spider can go fast or slow. All of this is done really effortlessly. So that's how you want your fingers to look always, but in particular when we're doing a melodic minor scale. So the first thing we'll do, I'm going to show you two exercises that I've made and I call them my jump back finger exercises. After we've done that, we will apply the jump back fingering into a melodic minor scale. Let's get started. So this is not my violin that I'm going to be using today. It is a little small, albeit pretty cute, but the reason I want to use it is because it has these finger marks. So my first finger is going to go here and there's no second finger mark. This is a third finger mark. And then my second high would be close to the three, second low is close to the one. So hopefully that will help to show how we're moving the fingers today. So the first exercise I'm gonna show you is my tap tap exercise. And we're gonna do that on the second finger, which is the easiest to start with. So first, make sure that your left hand and wrist are loose and relaxed. You will have a mouse hole here, and you must maintain that for the entirety of the exercise. We're gonna put the first finger onto the first finger mark. And I'm gonna use the E string here. I'm gonna put my second finger as a high second. So that's gonna be just underneath the third finger mark. And I'm gonna put my third right on top. Now, all I need to do is lift up the second and put it squashed on top of the third. Lift up the second, put it squashed under the three. While I'm doing that, you will see that there is absolutely no change to my left hand or wrist. It's very loose and relaxed and it maintains its same position. Now be careful that when you do your taps, your second finger actually goes very close. So really squashed there under the three, up, squashed on top of the two, up, squashed under the three. The fourth finger is just up above there, not underneath your violin, that's wrong. So now we can just tap, 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 tap. And this is the tap tap exercise for the second finger. So now I'm gonna be doing that with my first finger. So this time I'm gonna put my first finger on the mark and I'm gonna put the second finger right on top. So the notes I'm playing there, that would be F sharp and this would be G natural. And my left hand and wrist are remaining nice and loose and relaxed. There's the mouse hole again. And I'm gonna lift my first, put it back to a low first or F natural, lift it up to the F sharp up, back to F natural, up, back to F sharp. So we can do that now, tapping forward and backward and making sure that the left hand wrist and hand do not tighten in any way or change position. Again, make sure that these other fingers are not going underneath your violin. And also make sure that when you tap, you actually are tapping. This is a tap. This is not a tap. So we're not sliding back and forth. We're lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. So once you have developed some really good taps, we can now start to apply that jumping fingers into the top tetrachord of A melodic minor. So that's the top half of the scale. And that's the tricky bit. So let's play E. F sharp, which is one. G sharp, two. And three, A. And now we're going to stop, lift, jump back. Stop, lift, jump back. So let's do that again. Notice that when I'm jumping my fingers back, I jump and then lift. So it's not one action. 
They do not slide down. It's two actions. Up, down, lift. Here we go again. Notice that when I do that, my wrist and hand position remain loose and relaxed at all times. Let's do it one more time. Once you have mastered that, you are now ready to play a melodic minor scale. I'm going to play the whole scale now. So if you practice those tap tap exercises every day, making sure that your left hand and wrist maintain a loose and relaxed position, you're going to start to be able to jump your fingers back more easily and with more control. So once you can do that, you're going to find scales like A melodic minor really quite easy. You're going to have the control you need to make good intonation, play with more speed and above all, not get a sore left hand or wrist. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. See you next time.